So you may remember this pan from part one, which was expensive pan versus cheap pan. But that wasn't really a fair test because I got this pan in the post. This pan's probably older than me. As we know, the colors rust. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and do the test again. I'm gonna make it as fair as possible. So I'm gonna give this pan the treatment it needs. I'm gonna try and restore it. And then I'm gonna get it tuned. So let's start by sanding it down. A lot worse, so, you know. took every ounce of skill and experience that I have to get that instrument to sound like that. Like if you're a new player, you're not gonna be able to get that instrument to sound like that. That was hard work. It's not balanced. Some notes are dead, but you gotta like compensate for those. And then some notes are, oh, like it was, it was horrible. It was horrible. It was like playing four instruments at the same time and trying to get them all to sound like one. Being in a hostage situation and having your mouth taped and trying to make a sound, trying to get blood from a stone. Getting up in the middle of the night and stubbing your toe on the bed, it was... <laughs> if you're on a budget, maybe it can work, maybe it could be a good practice pan, but if you're a professional musician, don't even think about it. I was trying to squeeze life out where there was none. 